<laughs> Welcome guys, it's Lord Plants here and we are back with another episode of Magic Of course, so this time I will be just teaching a simple magic trick which doesn't cost any preparation and no one suspected. So first you hand I'll hand you to shuffle, so I'll just shuffle this. I'm gonna shuffle. Shuffle as many times as I want. As many times. And now I'm, I'm also gonna riffle shuffle this. And then I'm also gonna mix all these up. Okay, so now I'm going to square this heck up, and now I'm going to invite you to choose a card, so just make sure that there's nothing, no problem with this deck. Okay, so I'm going to let you choose a card, so let's say this card. Remember this card? Now I'm going to give this deck a whole complete cut, and put your card on top of this deck, and then dump this on this. Now I'm going to start shuffling this deck. Okay, so now I'm going to scroll through these cards and I'm going to find your card. And I am sure that this Seven of Hearts is your card. Okay, so now, how do we do this trick? Now, this trick is so far the most easiest, the uh, easiest trick I have ever done. And it's pretty simple, and you don't need much practice. And the shuffle, you, just, you can just use any shuffle, as long as you don't disturb the cards. You know what I mean. So, now, first... I'm going to shuffle it just earlier. Oh, crap. Sorry. So, I can shuffle these cards. I can shuffle these cards in whatever way I want. I can just shuffle like this. Now, you don't actually need to know whatever card it is. There's no memorizing or anything. All you need to do is square up the cards and look and glance at this card right here. And as you can see here, this card is the seven of spades in this situation. So put this card here. Now, just tell the spectator that there's no problem with this deck. This tell him there's no problem with this deck. Exactly no problem. Now, there's another factor. Like the spectator who can suspect you for, for glancing at the card. So you can tell the spectator to shuffle him himself or herself. And after she shuffles she, you need to tell them to square the pack. So when they square the pack, they actually show the card for you. So now you need a glimpse at this card, so whatever way you can do, just make sure you know what's the bottom card. So in this case, it's the seven of spades. So put it back here, and then now just pretend nothing happened. Okay, so now just spread the cards out and let them choose a card. So let's say in this situation, the card will be the eight of spades. So now, you just need to pretend that you're cutting the deck in whatever way it is. It doesn't matter where you cut it, so you can actually ask the spectator to cut the deck himself. Now, if you have, you didn't manage to glimpse the bottom card, which is the seven of spades, then maybe when he cut it, you may get actually a little glimpse or glimpse this card. Okay, so two ways. Anyway, so if he, if you could actually only get this card's glimpse and you don't get this card, you get your chance to glimpse this seven of spades. You just need to find a way to mix this with this, so you can still find a deck. So, um, but in normal, no, normal situations, you'll be meeting. You you will need to do such complicated stuff. So, so remember the seven of spades. We just put your card on here. Put this eight of spades on here. Now you just need to. Dump the deck on here. And now, the spectator would think that his card is buried in the deck. So now, you just need to spread out cards, or like me, I just shuffle the cards to make it more believable. Now remember, very 
right here, take a huge pile to make sure that the card is in here and is safe and they won't get disturbed. So, now, the spectator thinks that his card is already separated. Oh, already buried in Jack, actually. Okay, so now, you need to pretend that you are screwing through the cards, fueling the cards, and finding his card while you're actually looking for your key card. So, in this situation, you need to find the key or key card, which is this seven of spades, and then the card right to the right on it. Actually, you can say below it also, which is this eight of spades, and this matching is done. So, maybe I said a bit too complicated, so let's, let me do it again. So, first, glimpse bottom card, the queue of clubs, and then I'll step, and then I'll just tell you to choose a card, and that's it, I ch you choose this card. Ten, ten of hearts, and then remember to click queen of clubs, and then cut this deck, and put this, your card, this ten of hearts, put it on it, and pretend that you know nothing, and remember this is the queen of clubs, the queen of clubs, actually, the queen of clubs, and put it on here. And now, the same thing, just shuffle it, or you can, don't, you don't need to shuffle it, actually. The audience should believe that this card, or her card, is buried in there, but just in case. Okay, so now, just look for the queen of clubs, again, as you can see, the queen of clubs is right here, and the ten of hearts is right next to it. Okay, so this is the end of today's tutorial, I hope you like it enjoy the view and don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a good comment below thank you for watching